Dear students, now we are going to discuss how to convert a 2D orthographic diagram into 3D model. Okay, first open your AutoCAD screen. Okay, now it will be a 2D screen. You can see a X and Y will be visible to you. So first what I have to do is I have to change it to a 3D screen. Just click your settings over here. You can see a 3D modeling has been available. Just click that. Even I clicked that you can see only X, Y has been available. It is not a 3D screen. So I have to find X, Y and Z. For that what I have to do is just click visualize, click this unside view, select SC isometric. Now you can see your X, Y and Z axis available. So I no need for your grid. So I have just pressed F7 switch, switch off your grid. So when you are going to draw a diagram students always. So when you convert your orthographic view into an isometric view that is a 2D diagram to a 3D diagram. First always concentrate on your front view. Okay. See they are given over here. It has been 3 mm base okay, and height has been 1 and here it has been 2. So first I have to draw a line. Just click your line. Make sure that your ortho has been on. Okay. So first I have drawn a 3 mm. Okay. Next your height has been 1. Okay. Then press just escape. Since it is a small area just zoom it. So it will be visible to you. So I have just zoom your window. Just zoom your window so it will be easily visible to you. Okay. So first I have drawn a 3 and your height has been 1. Next to see over here it has been 2 over here. So just click your line from this point I have drawn a 2. Okay. Next on a horizontal direction 1.5 enter and I joined it to this point. See students now I have drawn this front view. What has been missing? A circle has been missing. Okay. See this circle has been 1 mm from here and it has been 1.5 mm. Clear? So what I have to do is, so once again I have to draw a reference line here from this point. Okay? I have to draw a line as a reference. Just press escape. Once again click your line. I have drawn a reference line. Okay? See students, if you click your circle, if you select this point, it will be only in this direction. You can see we need on a another plane, but it has been on a another plane. So what I have to do is, so I have to shift to my plane. I have to shift to my plane. So for that, what I have to do is, see over here, I have to just select your front. See when I select your front plane, I am getting only a line. So once again, I am going to for select my another plane. So I just select your right. See now I have got your front view. So what I have to do is, I have to draw your circle. So what is the circle dimension? They are given your circle dimension as radius as 0.5. So just select this point and enter your dimension as 0.5. Okay. After that, just delete these two lines. Okay. Once again, convert, click over here and select isometric view. See students, you can't draw your circles without your changing your view. So first you have to draw your circle only by changing your view. So now I have drawn your parts. Clear? Now select your entire content I am going to region it R E G I O N your command will be R E G I O N ok then it will be asking you to select your object select all your objects select enter see you have to see there is it will be, it will be giving two loops two regions are created because this box is one region and this circle has been one region so both has been created see on your diagram they are given your extrusion height as what is your extrusion height it is 2 so what I have to do is I just click your extrude I have selected this component and this component enter I have just given your dimension as 2. Now you can see the object has been extruded. You can see on a 3 dimensional view. See I have just extruded but see over here I need a hole over here. So here I have hole but it is not subtracted. Okay for that I am going to use your command subtract S U B S T R A C T. Enter. First we have to select your base object. So that outer object press enter then you select your circle enter now you can see a hole is being created okay so this is your first diagram students now i will be drawing for your another 3d modeling diagram for your reference okay now i am going to take this diagram so we are going to draw this diagram okay once again opening a new file see here what I have to do is I will be drawing 
just listen to me first i'll be drawing this base part in one plane and i'll be extruding to a height of 12 then i'll be drawing this part on one plane and i'll be extruding to a height of 25 okay now just listen to me i'll be starting your diagram so first it is in a 2d plane i have to change it to a 3d plane what what i have to do i have to just click visualize and i have to change it to unsaved view to sc isometric view you can see and then press f7 see students first i have to draw this part bottom part so here it has been 25 12 25 12 and it has been 25 so just i am going to use your line command okay first i have drawn and make sure your ortho has been on first 25 and it has been 12 25 12 25 okay they are given your width has been 50 so 50 enter once again this side 75 and your last it has been your close now i have drawn your base part clear students first i have to region it re g i o n your command will be region enter select your entire content see here i have only one area so when i press enter you can see only one loop is being created so what is the extrusion height 12 so just select it click extrude okay you just give your height as 12 i have completed this part next i have to draw this part student so see it has been 20 over here your total width is 75 75 minus 20 it is 55 so this height width has been 55 your height has been 25 and here it has been 20 so i have to draw see just listen first i have just clicked your line i have drawn a 55 mm line enter and your height has been 25 enter and once again 20 enter and i have to join it over here now i have drawn this part so what is the extrusion length it is 25 so before extrusion i have to region it so r e g i o n enter just select it press enter you see it has been one region has been created so this extrusion width is 25 just extrude and give your dimension as 25 now i have two different component students so i have to merge it so how i have to do it so before what i have to do is i have to just select this component click move or you can type move over here either you have a click over here or you can type it on your command i just clicked your move with reference to base point i just placed it over here okay now you can see i will be just converting into a solid view it has been converted into a solid but when i select see this part has been selected separately and this part has been separated selected separately so both should be a single component for that i am going to use your command union u n i o n enter just select first component and second component press enter now your both the component has been joined if i select one component you can see both the components have been selected okay so you can see the diagram which we have been drawn okay so with this wind up your first 3d modeling lecture thank you all